Rose, Sugar shuts down haters accusing BTS of lip syncing in the coolest way at 2017 SBS Gaio Dejan. Today's video is sponsored by Kokowa TV, a Korean television streaming service launched in 2017. Brought to you by the K-drama companies themselves, they provide the fastest release of K-dramas and variety shows including exclusive content like G-Dragon's multi-concert, not found anywhere else, and also all of the variety and award shows for this holiday season. It's no wonder that other streaming companies are partnering with them. You can watch them on your computer, smartphone, or tablet with options to watch for free, daily, monthly, or yearly plans. Sign up and get your first month free. Link in the bio below. The SBS Music Festival where all the famous K-pop groups performed at recently, which is also not an award show, happened on Christmas Day, BTS was there, and I thought that all of the groups were lip syncing, but that's not the case. Not at all! El Sugar made sure to drop that mic and let them know that they were not all lip syncing. He didn't actually drop the mic. What he did was he dropped the mic away from his face during part of the verse where he's supposed to sing and therefore you can't hear his voice because there's no lip sync background. But he's, it's kind of like a mic. I mean, this is a mic drop. You literally drop it out of your head and falls on the ground. So he doesn't do that, but he takes it away from his face. And he's not lip syncing. BTS is not lip syncing, which is impressive because they're singing and they're walking down the stairs singing and then they're dancing and they're singing. I mean, I know all K-pop groups do this, but I guess it was suspected that all the groups at this particular festival were lip syncing. Did you notice that other groups are lip syncing? I thought that definitely some of them were, or the backing tracks were a lot louder than the actual performers. I do know that most of the performances were pre-recorded. There was a little bit of an issue actually with the pre-recorded performances, because usually they do pre-record some performances and then people come out and they perform while the pre-recorded performance is going on because they need to have a different track for people actually watching the televised version but they didn't really do that in the live performance. They blacked out the audience and they were basically watching the screen. So actually watching it there in person wasn't necessarily as nice of a, what's the word? Experience. Exactly, as actually watching it online. How do you know so much about all this? It seems very confusing to me as just another person who's viewing and observing and enjoying that they do one thing for the live audience, they do another thing for the viewing audience at home. You do research, you read about other people's blogs, their experiences, what they went through, and you compare the, and contrast the differences. Is the main reason they do it that way because they're gonna get better ratings if they do? Like, why is the company choosing to do this? So that they get the best performance possible because you might actually have some sort of mistake or flaw in the actual live performance. Also- From the singers. From the singers, for the dancers, there could be some issue arising with equipment. There there's so many things that go on and go into an actual live performance that you don't necessarily want to go live on television for a national audience. For example, he's he, I don't exactly know how to pronounce her name properly, but she fainted at the very end of her performance and that did not go out on national television. So she did faint, but you didn't get to see it. No. How did BTS pull off with the producers or the executive producers or whoever's in charge telling them, okay, don't play a backtrack. We are going to do this live. We don't want any lip syncing. How did they get that? privilege others didn't. I don't know, but maybe this is something that they do regularly or more normally. This is up in the PD department. I don't know what's going on in the PDs. You know, they make all the decisions, but what is really impressive is that all the guys are able to sing and perform almost flawlessly with live performances only and live mics only. Comments, you guys, did you watch the live performance? What do you know about BTS doing their performances live? Have they ever lip synced before? Or are they proving that they never ever lip sync? Ooh, good question. Click the like button. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Holly Back. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGA. Also, check out the link to Cocoa TV. And don't forget to subscribe for more Holly Back news. And Happy New Year, everyone. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.